Why, hello there, everyone. It's Crack Jake here, and we are back exactly where we left off. In, I think, the the bathhouse, I guess, if I remember correctly. We had just run away from the cops. I think I'm actually going to wait an hour, which I probably should have done while I was sitting in there. But we are famished. We are exhausted. We got a bounty on our head now from looking at a lock. Uh... And, uh, I, we're not really well liked in this new town of Rat's Eye, so, uh, even though we're on, uh, we're enlisted in the, under the service of Sir Radzig, I guess people still, still don't really like us too much. Uh, our nourishment is down, I guess, I guess that's about half of where it's supposed to be. Energy is really low, so we'll wait until noon and I guess we'll just try our luck heading back into the city. Cause we, we've got to get food. We, we can go to that inn again and t steal her soup, but I feel like that's all Henry's been eating is soup for the past week. Where's that bell ringing always at the hour, huh? I have a feeling as soon as we go into the city, we are going to get confronted by the guard being like, You owe us 150 groschen, or you go to jail. And then we'll spend another... There's probably going to be two days in jail or something now, because this is a more severe crime than going out past curfew with no light. Don't mind me, boys. I'm just, uh... You! Oh. Stop right where All right, you are. Uh, Surrender! You're under arrest for breaking the law. You'll get what for? Whatever. Are you I'm surrendering. God, they're just about to shoot me with an arrow. Someone reported you were picking locks. This definitely won't come cheap. Oh my my. You're making a sip. All right, Henry. You're gonna be dead by the jail time you get out of jail. Just letting you know. Get moving. I hope you rot there. Give me all the things you stole, so I can return them to their rightful owners. I didn't steal anything. <laughs> You've been kicked out of the bail of service for incompetence. What? So we failed our main quest. We'll have to go back to the beginning of the game or the beginning of that quest my these people here are harsh i hope you rot in jail for looking at a lock i didn't even pick it mind you i did not even pick it i looked at the lock it's like i wonder if i can get this chest open i wonder if that's where the, the my stash of armor that the bailiff promised me is nope nope just uh more jail time let's just pretend none of that ever happened all right <laughs> All right, bailiff. Won't go against your wishes again, I promise. We're gonna have a look at that armory again, though. I don't know why the game lags like that sometimes. I guess this game's still quite new. It's like a month old now. I'm hoping maybe they'll fix some of those tiny bugs, performance issues. Um, in other news, uh, Far Cry 5 just came out, and I am a huge fan of the Far Cry series. I played, actually I've only played Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4, but I love both those games. Um, and I intend to get Far Cry 5 and hopefully do a walkthrough, just like I am doing with this game, on... Uh, Far Cry 5, so I just have to 
buy it is the thing what I have to do now. Also, I want to get uh, my Xbox, which is what I record on. I want to get Xbox Live. So maybe I can do online gameplay with uh, free-to-play games or something like that. Shut up, girl. I'm trying to talk here. Ooh. Uh, maybe I could play games like Fortnite. Uh, me and my friend Brendan, which you guys, if you watch the... Uh, Metal Gear Solid video, uh, we plan on doing games, probably, hey. oh my gosh, get out of my way. We plan on doing games, why is this a private area, it's just a bunch of tables. We plan on doing games like, uh, Fortnite, or, uh, we just recorded Just Cause the other day, which is gonna be a video you guys enjoyed, I hope, because it'll probably be up by the time you're watching this. Um, we're just gonna do random games, and, uh, but as I was saying, I would like to have Xbox Live so I could play more games than just the ones I have to buy. Okay. I'm looking for a bed. I don't think I'm going to find one around here. So, I don't... Where's the bed at? Just some empty hallways. Maybe we could find the barracks of the knights or something. Maybe there's some beds in here. No, locked, of course. Nope, just a bunch of storage. Oh. Don't want the pig to get out. This is where you guys sleep because I need a bed. I'm tired and I need to sleep for like a day. Ooh. Sounded like. What do you want here? Pop I'm out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out, woman. Townswoman. Oh, I can sleep in here instead. That's that's better. Um. Yeah, we're gonna sleep. Because as you can see by our meter down there, we're we're pretty exhausted. So. I think we're just going to rest. Uh, you can't sleep any longer than 12 hours, so. <laughs> I think we'll sleep for... Oh. Uh, oh, it tells you uh, how much your nourishment will go down if you sleep for a long amount of time. Right, let's get our let's sleep till then because it says our nourishment will go down to what was it 20s which isn't good which means as soon as we wake up we're probably going to go back to the uh, inn grab some food and then come back and sleep till morning uh, yeah that's probably all we'll to do Alright, we're waking up for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I've had enough of your shit. When I said clear off, I meant right now. You should have thought twice about what you were doing. That will land you a fat fine. What the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> You can't breathe around these people before they arrest you. It didn't say this was a private area. It did not say when I walked into this room that it was a private area. I guarantee it. All right, I'm going to pay the money. I'm paying it. It's 15, 15 gold. All right, here you are. You paid for your crimes. Yeah. Surrender. You I, committed a crime and I'm arresting you. I just paid for it. Okay, good. They're not aggroed against me anymore. Oh, I guess it does have the little symbol that I'm trespassing. Look where you're going. I needed to sleep. I'm sorry. God. It's still daytime for some reason. And I guess it's uh, getting more into the later afternoon hours now. So let's go to the inn and get some food. 
Man, it's ridiculous. I guess I, I really didn't see that, that that was a private area, so. I suppose that I'm not allowed to sleep in someone's in a bed that's private. Because I'll get arrested. We almost went to jail for the third time in two episodes. That's crazy. I could do with a bite to eat. I know, Henry. We're getting that. We're getting that taken care of right now. So we are level four right now, and uh, I don't know exactly how the experience points in this game work, because I don't know what earns you experience and what doesn't, but I'm guessing that completing quests and maybe even killing people will up your level eventually. No, I'm not going to talk to this guy. Yeah, I'm not going to talk to him. I'm not trying to spend any more money, because we just spent $15 fine, and we can't eat any of this anymore. What the heck? Oh, my. All right, whatever. We have to get food. Like that's Wait, there's another inn. I remember that. There's another inn down here. I feel quite hungry. I know, Henry. It's all right. We're getting your food in a minute. I swear there's another tavern up here. Yeah, it's right here. Can I get some of your soup? Hey, look out! Locked, of course. Locked. All right. No soup. Jesus, look where you're going. Gotta say, I'm pretty upset. Pretty upset. I feel quite hungry. Pretty upset. Where's the innkeeper? Oh, it's you. Oh my. Here, just as you ordered. Only had some poison and could slip into his drink when he's not looking. Is this the innkeeper? Good day to you. Alright. More, more, uh. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. More chitter chatter. Looks like we're going to have to buy food. <clears throat> the innkeep should have some food. Not too expensive. Uh, I'll take I'll take a couple of those. That's rather expensive. We'll grab a uh, two bowls of soup. And some porridge. All right, that should be that should be good, right? Uh, do I want to try haggling? I'd like to discuss the price. <clears throat> sure, why not? Agree. Wow, well, a little more, and we'll. Yeah, they'll only let me go uh, two below the starting All place. Right. We gotta get our mercantile skill up a little bit. Alright, Henry, we're about to eat. Come on. 
A little bit of patience. anymore. Nice. Sweet. Alright, now let's go check out that armory and not touch any of the chests. My stuff. Fuck. Jesus, look where you're going. Fuck. Do I have to talk to one of you guys? Probably. That's probably what I had to do. I was told to pick up a kit here. Yep, that's what I had to do. Name Henry. And in fealty too? Sir Razzik Cobbler. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. Do you want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Okay. That's like kind of the same armor that I've already got. Let's try it on, I suppose. That's our, uh, we got two bassinets now. We got more padded armor. What's better? Mail collar does four defense, and the padded coif does three, so we'll put on the mail collar. We don't have any greaves or anything. Just got some old boots. We didn't get any uh, greaves. Okay, we'll keep on the armor, I guess, and we'll take off our helmet because we don't want to be walking around the town with a helmet on. That's just a little weird. <clears throat> so, um, let's see what this quest says. Maybe we can start our side quest now. Nope, not what I was looking for. Join the Nightingale Patrol between 11 and 9, 19 o'clock. What time is it now? It is 17 o'clock and yeah, I'm not gonna do that quest today. So we'll we'll do the we'll do the side quest. Right now, the good thief. All right, this should be interesting. If we get caught, we will probably be thrown out of the service of the bailiff. So it's of utmost importance that we are very covert about this assignment. And that we have saves available. Which we don't, so that's gonna be great. <laughs> Hopefully, it auto saves. Because I'm not going all the way back to the tavern to buy more Savior Schnapps. Not happening. I guess we could make them. Oh, and there was food here the entire time. Well, I guess we could make Savior, savior Schnapps. I think that's an option, but that would involve alchemy and. Uh, I don't really understand how that works at the moment. Here we have another codex. Knighthood training, we already did that. Weapons. Okay, armory. More still.
Oh, armor. Went right over it. All right, Miller Peshek, or whatever your name was, Peshek. Let's do your dirty deed. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. I'm gonna be out late. I can just, I just have a feeling. Let's read more about this quest. I don't exactly know what my. Uh, you should pay Miller Pishek the debt for the treatment. Get the dead man's ring for Miller Pishek. Get a spade. See, I would normally go right to Pishek and uh, pay the debt, but maybe I, maybe he'll uh, figure that me stealing this ring for him will be payment enough. So we're just gonna hold off on that for right now. Pick up some poppy flowers. Maybe we can become an alchemist later. That's what I wanted to check out. Some of our skills. We leveled up in the sword training. And I guess we can choose a... Oh, since we leveled up in the sword training, we can choose a new skill. Okay. Rhythm slash last stab with uh, rapid Zorhu from the ox stance, parry the opponent's strike to the side from your left shoulder and thrust the point straight into his chest. Stab slash slash. We gotta remember these, okay? Um, instead of instead of a started strike from the right, strike unexpectedly at the opponent's face. We're gonna go with the wrath strike. That sounds cooler. Parry the opponent's strike and then do a counterattack. Only works with a long sword. Alright, no big deal. Progress for 71% of the way to level 5. Then we can pick a new skill. So, uh,. I guess I didn't really see an alchemy tab, so not much we can do there. Oh, I'm hitting Y again to jump. And that was really weird looking. Alright. So I think it's saying we have to go through this little bit of woods here. This should be interesting. Fascinating. Quaint little mountain path. Beautiful rat tie. It's humble presence on top of the mountain. We need to go to the bathroom right now. I've never seen a pig with hair that goes down the middle of its back. That is new to me. I mean, I actually don't even know if pigs like that exist. But they probably do if it's in this game. I just haven't seen them. Well, manure pile. The gallows, is that what that is? Don't want to be caught there. And we're getting hungry again. Gallows Hill. Where the bad people get hanged. And this seems to be where... Oh, okay. Do we have a spade? I think we do. I don't have a spade, actually. 
Oh my. What a waste of a journey. Get a spade. Get the dead man's ring for Milipeshek. Where can I find a spade at? Am I gonna have to buy one in the market? It seems like that might be the case. Back to town we go. Oh wait. There's a... Oh. Perfect. <laughs> and I was gonna go all the way back to town. Should we wait until night? Yeah, that might be wise. Let's wait until... Let's wait around for a couple hours. Wait until uh, darkness shields us. Shields our dirty deeds. then perfect perfect let's eat something because we're famished now from sitting around still a little hungry it's porridge gotta eat your porridge more more storage for me porridge all right let's go time to dig Henry Night has fallen, perfect time. Oh man. Morbid. <laughs> oh man. We're a grave digger. Christ, now. wound, what a fucking stink. How long have you been lying here? Quite a quite a while. Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <laughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. Wait, you're telling me he was just. This is a prank? Oh boy. I mean, we better bury the body again just because, like, they're gonna know that someone was not doing something they were supposed to do. But I don't think that's an option, so it's saying that we need to go. to Pishak. We have to go back to him. Alright. Okay. Just inconspicuously leave. He's probably asleep. Hopefully there's a bed. I don't remember if there was a bed I was allowed to use at the man's house. Oh, we got better to get out our torch. Almost forgot. <laughs> now we're not allowed to have. And we're not allowed to walk around without a light source. Hopefully our torch doesn't go out. Oh boy. I'm, I'm starting to get scared. Out in the wilderness with a torch. Oh god, there's buggos. Oh boy. Don't catch the trees on fire. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here before we run into the, some vampire bats or something. Oh, that's a cliff. We're just going to slide down here. Ah. 
I've just I've just discovered Rattai for some reason. Okay. Perfect. Thought that was a person. We need a horse. That's going to be the first thing we save up for. Come on now. Almost there. Oh, Teresa, what are you doing out so late? Sweeping the ground. All right. Is there anything else we can uh, fancy a little walk? <laughs> Not now. We got to see the the miller first. Maybe we could do that later, though. And it might be a little creepy to ask her to go on a walk in the middle of the night. That's kind of not okay. So, I'd like to know. So, how do you like it in Ratai? It's a big town with good strong walls, so I suppose we're safe here. And they took us in in our hour of need, but for how much longer? They'll grow tired of us soon enough. What do you think of the Lord here, Sir Hanush? He comes from the glorious line of the Lords of Lypa. Folks say he's a bit hot-headed, but he took us in, so he must be a good Christian. Who's this Sir Hans Capon? He's actually the real Lord of Retay, and Sir Hanush is only his guardian, because Sir Hans is underage and his father is dead. Folks say he's a spoiled young pup with an eye for the lasses. And How are the right. Scallets folk getting on? They're alive. That's the main thing. They have shelter, but they're just scraping by. Rattay's citizens aren't happy the town is full of beggars who don't look like leaving anytime soon. Do you know anything about those cumin rapists? About, you know. They came to Hungary from God knows where, and now they... Well, folk tell awful stories about them. I hope I never see them again. All right, that'd be all. That's all. I'll leave you to it then. Gotta talk to your uncle. Excuse me, barging in here with a... I probably should sleep. I guess I'll sleep. And talk to him in the morning. Okay. Sleep till 7 a.m. I don't know why it always slows down so much at the last hour. Maybe it's like loading, like a loading the environment again or something. Oh, but it's weird. <clears throat> All right. Game saved. Nice. Have a little bite to eat. Perfect. I didn't know you're bald. <laughs> we talked to what? you. What? What the hell are you doing? Why do people always shut the door on me? Come on. 
Don't you dare. Damn! I talked to you yet? This won't let me talk to him until he's standing over here. What are you doing? I'm just gonna follow you. Oh, he had to get dressed, alright. Now he's decent to the world. <clears throat> there was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Oh, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. Whatever. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere <coughs> in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. I mean, we have, but Fuck we're not very good hell. at it. How did I get landed with a cretin like you? I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. All right, so I guess we have to try to unlock this trunk, and we've been placed right next to a waterfall of swords, and it's like really hard to hear. It's super loud. All right, well, let's see if we can get this. Hold the lock with your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. With your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism right to move. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock. Quite easy. All right. Feel the right point <laughs> where the tumbler is. Now, this is quite different than any of the other locks we've done. Maybe that's for tutorial purposes or something. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, you'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. Okay, guess <laughs> we're getting some lock training. Alright, let's see what we can do this. You forced it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. Oh boy, so guards can actually hear when a lock breaks? That's nuts. Oh shit. Come on, Henry. Open the damn lock. Oh my gosh. This is actually harder than it looks. I said that before. I'm just not too meticulous with this type of stuff, I guess. Right. Come on now. My god. I guess we have an infinite supply of lockpicks that this guy is giving us or something. Alright. I gotta get my other stick in the right angle. It just, it goes, I don't know how to describe how I'm failing. It just feels like, I, like I'm like i going with the joystick and then it just stops moving. I was close that time, closer than I have been. Can I just whip it around there? No, I don't think that will work. God dang. I 
I, uh, I, I'm just not keeping it in the exact spot. It needs to be right there. This is so... Oh my... I, I hate this. I hate it. <laughs> this is terrible. Why do they have to make it like this? God damn it. Oh, this is frustrating me. Mother of God. Holy shit. I was right there. It was at the end. I'm getting so fed up. Like, why don't, like, why could, I understand that the, the, Bethesda method of lock picking typically is just a, a screwdriver and a bobby pin or a or a, uh, a a little knife and a whatever a lock pick proper lock pick that you'd use in Skyrim but I understand that that's I guess overused or a Bethesda thing but why I, unless the copyright issues I don't know why they couldn't just do that they had to make it some super complicated thing that I it I literally can't do I can't, I, I don't know, I might be an idiot, I probably am, but I just, this is just too hard. It, it shouldn't be this hard to open a lock. It just shouldn't be in a game. In a video game, it should not be this hard. This is my one complaint about this game, is that the lock picking, in my opinion, is shit. I, I don't like the lock picking. All right, fuck this. I'm not doing this. I fuck this. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. I will not do that. That is a waste of time, and I just can't do it. I'm not getting the hang of it, and I just won't put myself through that torture. All right, the good thief. You should pay Miller Pichak the debt for the treatment. Uh all right, we said we were gonna wait for that. So we might as well wait for that. I know it might not be the most wise thing to go poking around the executioner's house during the day. But I think we should at least case out the joint before we uh try to nick him of his goods. Um But it should be out, you would think. Typically a medieval person who lives in the city or around the city would be out doing errands and you could sneak into his house inconspicuously and just nab, nab that ring and get moving on but it's going to involve lock picking I already for sure know that because that's that's exactly why Miller Pishak wanted us to uh, practice because there was going to be a lock oh god I'm having nightmares already PTSD from the last lock I, it was horrible. It was absolutely terrible. This game is beautiful, and, and so far I'm, I'm enjoying the experience of this uh, game, even though I'm, I barely brushed the surface, even though I'm uh, seven hours in at this point, uh, which isn't actually a lot, con considering I spent hundreds of hours on other games, uh, but... Anyway, what I was saying is the one complaint I have so far is the lockpick. I just don't think it should be that hard. Like, it's such a hard thing. I don't know if anyone else is having trouble with the lockpicking mechanics in this game, but I just, I'm not a fan of how it works. To me, I feel like I have that little circle in the right position in the tumbler, and when I spin it around, it starts shaking a lot, and it breaks, and it breaks, and it breaks, and it breaks. I just think you, it, it wants both of your joysticks to be in the exact correct position in complete, like, you have to turn them simultaneously in the exact correct position. If you m deviate too far from that position, it breaks. And it, it's so hard to hold the joysticks in that position because your fingers, they move. And you can't hold them in a, some tiny little position for much of a long time. At least I can't. I'm having a lot of trouble with that. You're the executioner. It seems so, huh? She 
Should we try try and get him out of the house? Let's see what he has to say about this. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict, and um, this convict. Um... Oh dang! I wonder if we can play on his feelings, because I remember Pishak telling us not to talk about it. And I just went and talked about it. <laughs> so let's try to persuade our way out of this. It was a family man. He left three young children, and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. Children, you say? Ooh. You're right, I do have the ring. But actually, it's a worthless bauble. You can have it for a few groschen. It's a deal. Here it is. Well, I feel what good about it? that. I don't know about you guys, but Henry still has his honor. <laughs> and we didn't have to fight anyone. We didn't get caught by the guards. We just we just paid for it. Didn't even have to pick any locks. I feel good about that one. <laughs> but I know that if I'm going to play this game, I really got to brush. I, I, even though I don't like the lock picking mechanic per se, I, I really got to get it down. I have to. If I'm going to play this game and not want to tear my ears off, I got to learn how to pick a damn lock. Seriously. I like walking around in this uh, forest. Like I said, the forests are vivid and realistic looking you know it's not just a bunch of trees or a bunch of bushes it's like a you got your ferns you got your uh i guess baby boy trees and your your bigger boy trees and your bushes and shrubs and it's all really crowded which is what a real forest would look like we probably should have a bow do we ha i don't i don't think we got a bow from that training session Don't. We got a bludgeon. How um, much? 31 damage as opposed to 48 with my sword. We got the sword equipped it already. What does that blood mean? Does that mean the condition is poor? Yeah, we got about half, half, 50% down on our condition for the pages sword. The so I'm just gonna say so is uh, completely broken. And. Uh, we got an arrow and a bludgeon. So we got a sword and a bludgeon for our weapons that we can actually use. That's it. Alrighty then. How much groschen do we have? 45. That's all we have left. We, we were given 70 from the bailiff. And we have 40 left, 45 left. So is darn bounty, as I'm telling you. Just had to go create more hassle and mischief around the city. Couldn't help myself. I wonder why Pishek wanted this quote-unquote worthless bauble. Because... If it's only worth 15 groschen, then I don't think it was much of a treasure. We'll see what he has in store, I guess. Alright, Pishek. Because I can't talk to you until you're done. Oh, me! I remember we can't ask her for, to go on a walk, so we might do that. Good day to you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring, Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. 
And I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. Ooh. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. So he's a fence, eh? Suppose that could be useful if ever we find ourselves thieving, which, I don't know, could happen. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. We don't have any stolen goods. Mate, we might, but just some food. I'm not worried about selling that at the moment. Um, Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek and Kohelnitz and Simon and Sasa. Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place, and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Okay. Um... Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. I don't know. I don't think that's something I could ever do. Be born one place, live your entire life one place, and die in the same place. I don't know. I would have to do what Henry's doing and going on an adventure. I want to see stuff, you know what I mean? Ugh, not trying to pickpocket at the moment. Maybe we'll come back to CP Shuck if that ever... Uh, comes up as a skill that we might need. Uh, Can you tell me? Yeah, we already. Do you know Sir Bernard, the Rat Eye Captain? He's a grumpy bastard, but fair, I'd say. Nice. Do you know anything about those cute? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. Just gonna talk to him a little bit, see if we can get any uh, new dialogue. What about the Scalitz folk? Yeah, we already know. He's God sent there. them to punish us for. All right, I'm not gonna listen to that. He doesn't like the Scalitz folk. No one likes the Scalitz folk. What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. That's all. So Sigismund, as we've figured out previously, no one likes. He's a violent... Uh, guy that is a violent man who I'm assuming has definitely taken things too far considering he's mur murdered uh, plenty of people and Wenceslas is idle which means he doesn't do crap so this is the guy we have to go see for this quest take the ring to the miller of Co Kohelnitz not too far of a walk. Not too bad. Still a lot to d explore in uh, Bohemia. But it should be good. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, I guess we'll... Uh... Mm. I don't know, I, I check my quest log a lot just to, because I like to have a schedule in my mind of what I want to do with these types of games. Not going to do that one for a good while, so not worried about uh, the 
arena matches in the city at the moment. Normally in uh, The Witcher, I would always do the arena matches after I did everything else in the city, so won't gonna worry, won't gonna worry about that for quite a while. Uh, I might even the swords where we learn to read. That is a huge distance away. I'm not gonna worry about that one at the moment either, but definitely gonna do it at some point in the walkthrough. Good Thief is the current objective. Vengeance, main quest. Keeping the pace, keeping the peace. We got to join the Nightingale Patrol at some point. Uh, so we're not going to do the two main quests. I kind of want to get this uh, side quest completed. Let's see what happens. As Miller Pishek's hat just spawns Welcome, in. Henry. I don't know where. Oh, you like me now? That's good. All right, don't shut the door on me. I'm gonna sneak in Be there. Be a bit more careful. I'm sorry. What are you up to? How would you like to, um, I don't know, come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? You got poop yes, all over your face, girl. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time. Okay, so she needs more time to settle in, Hal. All right. Note taken. Rejected. Guess we'll go back to see here after we've done a little bit more things in the city. Probably how that will work. And we need to go this way to get the, to Kohelnitz. Uh, is there a bridge? We're going to be doing some tiny bit of cross-country traveling, aren't we? There's that blasted chest. Water looks pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice uh, physics, graphics, whatever you like to call it, textures. More food, we're not hungry at the moment, so we're good. We haven't actually explored this side of uh, the county yet. Stables. Uh, probably just a little bit of a nature walk on that way. One of those mohawk pigs. Alright. Some little village. Let's see if there's anyone of interest here. Townsman. A kiln. Cool. might <clears throat> we really should uh up our groshing quite a bit we've only got what 45 so we probably should be sc scrounging around the wilderness maybe uh have to take on a few bandits and steal their supplies and sell it in town because we really need a reliable uh amount of groshin because 45 groshin won't cut it just telling you. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything really particularly interesting in this little village. Can't get up the stairs. Alright. Won't, won't intrude on your area. Alright. I guess we'll be on our way then, eh? To Kohelnitz. His, Henry's legs are going to be tired after this. <laughs> we need a horse. I guess it would be a strange sight to see a commoner on a horse, though. Maybe not so later. We've ranked up a little bit in Radzig's uh, garrison. I mean, potentially, Radzig might even give us a horse just for being a part of his garrison once we've gotten a high enough rank. What's this? A little pile of hay or something. 
I have my sword out just in case there's some beast. I guess I'll put it away. Wayward Shrine. Let's see if we can activate it. Thomas Henry Joseph Douglas Ayers from Stefan Loya Henry Harry Felices Vieter. All right. Whatever that is, Latin or something, I don't know. I believe this is the place. Discovered a. Oh, wait. No, we've still. No, we're almost there. Actually. gonna zoom out a little bit you know nearly there we could uh, take this as an opportunity to explore this little village of Kohelnitz I mean still there's a, there's a bunch of side quests still left to grab in uh, Tomberg and uh, Ratai so definitely we're gonna be busy Busy, busy bee in this walkthrough. And the miller's down the yonder. Alright, everyone. Uh, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, we are down on the miller's road here. We'll, we'll see him in the next episode, part 8. If you guys enjoyed uh, frustrating lockpicks, which I promise I will get better at. I don't know when, but I will. <laughs> I promise. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to join the Cracker Jake family. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode.